Welcome back to Hidden Power. This is a bonus episode because we have just been delivered a new baby. We have been just been... <laughs> yes, <laughs> We've been like delivered it. a new We've baby! We've been delivered a new baby! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> We've got a new Pokemon. Uh, we don't know what the name is, but we had to cover it. I'm Dusty Go Go. This is Lumio's post. Hello! In Soul Silver Art. What up? Does someone want to give me a breakdown on what this Pokemon is? It's Let me a fun it turtle. Oh, Fun that's turtle. the worst, no, no. worst oh, breakdown no. ever. No, no, no. Okay, so basically, uh, in this this whole Horizons thing, the main character, Liko, has a pendant that she wears, and she is jumping off a roof, and she's about to get hit by a psycho cut from a Sura ledge, which, you know, is, like, not great for a human to get hit by. And it messed up. Then, yeah, I mean, I imagine it would hurt, uh, a but lot. anyways, then the shield forms around her, and it's from her pendant, and she looks up, and there's this cute little fellow that you see down there, the other way there, um, you, you see that little guy, and then it just goes back into its shell, and it basically reveals that its shell is the pendant, so it is the pendant, and then a few days later, uh, what, Monday, that was, that aired mm -hmm. on Friday, and then on Monday, they announce, hey, there's this new Pokemon. It looks like it might be related to Terrapagos. You know, because we couldn't figure that out ourselves, of course. It's um, very obviously related, but the big question is, how is it related? So they gave us no name. Yeah. And they gave us no type. They gave us nothing other than I, it it's, it's literally resembles. Called it. Maybe Terrapagos. I well, don't that's think what the it will be... <laughs> I don't think it will be related to Terrapagos in the way we think. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Y'all know we talk about leaks here sometimes, and I imagine we're going to kind of do that. So yeah. pop out and out of here if you don't want to. But the fact that Riddler Koo posted a poll asking what we thought this was leads me to kind of immediately go, oh, so it's probably not what we think it is. Yeah. But yeah. maybe I'm reading too into it. Maybe that's why he did the poll. Ku works in mysterious ways. It's true. It's a very interesting um, Pokemon, let's say. Let, let, what do you think about the Pokemon itself right off the bat? I love it. I, I like Terrapagos more. You know, it's it's obviously yep. a much more complex design, Terrapagos. But I think it's very cute. It's a design, too. Yeah, I think yeah. It's, 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 it's actually a good design. I mm -hmm. think it's very cute, though. I, I'm a sucker for turtles. I'm a sucker for turtle Pokemon, so it's... It was always a winning battle for me, but I yeah. like it. You know, it's it's not it's not a revolutionary design like Satitan or Kilowattrel or something to me, but it is like, oh, that's really cute. I like it. So right here, yeah, so Riddler Koo said, what do you think is the true relationship between these two turtle things? Oh, yeah, I, I didn't even answer your question. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. <laughs> this is this is the Pokemon. <laughs> I think it's They're like, <laughs> I just think it's like a worse uh, Terrapagos. Terrapagos. I don't is, get. I don't get how people don't like it though. It's, it's ugly. So Someone said it. How it, was is it, it ugly? Was it Lumi who said it looks naked? It looks naked. No, I did not say Why that. Why would it look naked? This it doesn't looks, look naked. This looks. My, re remember when we covered Walking Wake without its mane? That's what th th I'm getting the same vibe from this. Well, that looked like great. <laughs> My no, wife said that uh, it looked like a paradox shuckle. <laughs> Dude, spoiler yeah, see for that. my tweet coming out in 30 minutes. That's what I'm literally well, tweeting. Blame um, Sarah. <laughs> that's funny. Um, I I don't see how people don't like it or think that it's ugly. Like it's a cute face. I don't I don't get it. Or it, like, it's, it, it's, I definitely don't I'm get it because it has diamonds all over. Yeah, it. it's got it's got rings and everything on it. I don't think it's a bad design. I just think it's like it. This is the kind of design where it just feels like a copy or a slight alteration. Yes. It's like a lesser version yes. of another Pokemon. Right? It's very Gen 9. Let's, yeah. let's put it yeah. that way. Yeah. It is this a very is, Gen 9 design. This is Pomo. A little bit. Oh. Right. I think that I so I tweeted this, but I think that it really does take away from Terrapagos. Like it it makes Terrapagos less to me. Like I'm just like, man. I agree. Why do oh, we so, have this? wait? So, so you like it, but you think it takes away? I I like it, but I think it's pointless. Like I don't pointless I like is the word. It, yeah, I like what it looks like, but right this now it, me. it doesn't. It just looks like a baby version of Terrapagos, and it kind of is sucks it. Because I'm, could, just like, I'm I'm could all this about be the a baby war. Pokemon. I I was thinking that yesterday. I'm Maybe like, is this actually a baby? They do. I might like it if it's a baby. Yeah, they me too. On the official website, that it is like they they straight up say it is not strong. Like they're yeah. like it's a weak Pokemon. 
I don't know if you um, want to read that, Dusty. It's on the it's official one. Kind of cowardly too, Dusty. because it it hides in its uh like shell whenever it feels in it's in danger. All right, this is yeah. uh this is straight from the Pokemon website. This Pokemon is small in stature and not particularly strong, but when push Maybe. comes to shove, it can crystallize the energy in its body to form a protective shield. Apparently, it can also assume a dormant state when it feels that its life is in danger by pulling its head, limbs, and tail into its shell and making itself look like a jewel, which was around, I'm assuming that's what was around Liko's uh, neck. Yes. Mm -hmm. Its splendid aura is reminiscent of the legendary Pokemon uh, Terrapagos, but this Pokemon's name and true nature are shrouded in mystery. Interesting, Interesting. that, like, Terrapagos isn't shrouded in mystery, but this little guy is, you know? Yeah, <laughs> it is weird. It's like, so this is one of one of the big things I was thinking about, is like, I wish that they had shown us this first, like, yeah. Oh look! It's this is what they revealed for the the DLC, well, they, they and then didn't... now they reveal Terrapagos because it's such an upgrade to this thing, right? Yeah, they probably you know? didn't show it first because it's not as good of a Pokemon, right? Yeah, I get I get that totally. So what are y'all thinking? You're all thinking like form pre evolution? What? Well, I don't so think that... it can be a form because of how they said it's a new Pokemon, right? So the four options that Riddler Koo suggests, and this doesn't, the, it, just because he put it in a tweet doesn't mean any of these could be right. Um, but these are these are four right off the bat, um, and these describe the relationship that Terrapagos uh, and this new baby uh, Barack. What do we call this? Baby ba baby ghosts. Baby ghosts. Okay. Barabagos. Baby ghosts. Baby turtle. Baby turtle and Terrapagos. Baby turtle. Is it going to be a Carbank and Diancy thing where Same you have, Milo. where where the baby turtle is very popular and abundant, but only one of them has been blessed to really get that mythical status? There could be a form change where it's just like maybe when it gets when it gathers enough energy, uh, Terra energy possibly, or maybe uh, maybe like if it actually undergoes um, the the Terra form, right? Then mm -hmm. it becomes it gets a physical form change into Terrapagos. Uh, it, are, is the relationship a family line, like a traditional evolution, or is there some core cell stuff going on? Um, to me, I like that idea, like, kind of like a Zygarde thing, right? That's that's uh, what he's referencing. I have yeah. some Zygarde thoughts on this. Cells. I have Go some very heavy thoughts on this. Lead on I me. firmly, firmly believe... Uh, first off, uh, before we move any further, I just want to say, uh, this has convinced me, if nothing else, that Terrapagos is a dragon type, just because I imagine Ooh. I'll have the same type as... Terrapagos, and this looks very dragon to me, more so than Terrapagos. That's for some a, reason. Mm -hmm. that's a really but, good uh, point. Just to, before you move on, that's a dragon good point fairy. because I really like the idea that like Terrapagos, if it's one and done, then like it could be any type, right? It's kind of it's like a ditto, right? It wouldn't make sense if Ditto evolved or Smeargle evolved, right? So I mm. I all of a sudden think that this thing has to be a lot more linear. Um, or ob right, it can't it can't really be that different of a Pokemon. It's not going to have three yeah. types, anyways. But yeah. I, I think Dragon Fairy is what I'm leaning. Uh, I don't I know if y'all want to touch on your thoughts on that. Yeah, it has to be Dragon Fairy, Dragon Rock, or Dragon Psychic. Those are the only three that I can It's imagine. a Dragon Psychic. I mean, you could nix the Dragon on some of those too. Like, Psychic is a huge one because of the implications of Area Zero and, like, what we know from mm -hmm. Sod and Toro. Like, being on top of every gem, you know, all those things. Psychic. I'd say Fairy for the same reason. Yeah, but Psychic has so much more to do with, like, mind control and all that stuff. I don't know. I feel like Psychic is the biggest contender, but at the same time, Rock is too, because it's literally covered in gems. Yeah. But fairy, see, like, gems yeah. are also often associated with, like, the fairy typing, like with... Yeah, uh, like magical stuff. Um, I'm, I, those are the three for me. Like, I don't know what else it could be. Now... It could be normal type. Boo. That, just look at that thing. Tell me it's a normal type. I don't know. That little baby right there that is literally a gem. I don't know. Look at its yeah, eyes. Yeah. Yeah, but, but but I guess... I know, love its eyes. Terrapagos' eyes are like that as well. I we love have that. to assume Terrapagos is going to undergo some sort of type change. I still... ah, I, I, Even though I said I just don't believe it anymore, I do believe it still. It, I, this, but this it does go kind of, under uh, type change. Terrestrialization. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's what I'm saying. Have, this one could have a uh, like a set type, and then yeah. when it evolves, oh, it evolves or changes into Terrapagos, it might have nothing. You know, like it might be something else. I mm. I still think that Terrapagos is still going to get something else. Like I don't okay. think that that can be its final form. I, to me, it doesn't look like a complete thing. I don't know. It'll probably get like one of those like Terra mask slash you know 
ultra terraforms. I've been thinking that too, but then the other day some somebody said, you know what, Eternatus never got to an Eternum like. But he did. He Dynamax. got a Gigantamax form in a he way. Did, yeah. The Eternamax form. I but guess you can't use it though. You can't yeah, use it. Right. That's the thing. Well, I mean, I guess, honestly, I guess it might be that way with Terrapagos. Yeah. It's true. Um, I, just I think do it's... think. Yeah. Go ahead. No, no. I just don't like this. I keep looking at it and I'm like, I don't <laughs> I'm like the this. opposite, dude. The more we're looking at it, the yes. more I'm like actually I liking it a lot. I It's a cute first stage. So mm -hmm. when I first saw it, I thought like this is just another Terrapagos. But the if you put them side by side, they're actually pretty different. Like, yeah. As far as Pokemon evolution terms go. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I have a big qualm with is like Terrapagos is already cute. Like we did not need another cute turtle. I want what? like... A but I think legendary. it's more beautiful. Yeah, I just want a third legendary, though, man. Like, I want Giratina here. Guys, <laughs> no, 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 no. You know what? We have no confirmation that it's a baby. I feel like this could just be a form change. I really, if you look at it, if it just lays flat, this is what I always go back to. It's got the same eyes as Tropagos. It's got the little twinkle in its eyes. It's got the same fingers. Whatever you can see, whatever part of the physical body of Tropagos that you can see is on the baby ter uh, Terrapagos, right? Even, see, the even the gem in the middle. It's yeah, literally the all the, the same thing. There. Yeah. And that is why, that is partly why I think that it is a Diancy Carbink situation. Yeah, um, I, I agree. I, I think that that's I previously I said, I did a video on this and I said, um, I actually said Manaphy Fione, but I do like Diancy Carbink. I think it's better. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's like a reverse, though, in a way. Like, Carbink did become Diancie, yeah. but Fione can never become Manaphy. And so I'd say it's like that. Like, it is like, that is So this thing that gets baby. around. This thing's reproducing. But, saying. yes, uh, I, I think so. Um, I am in the camp. I know that there's many people who don't buy into this, and there's some people that do. I am in the camp that our Terra Orb, like Lico's Pendant, is a baby Terrapagos. Yeah. Um, or a that pokemon but that is why i think that it cannot evolve into terrapagos because if it can evolve into terrapagos that means every single terra orb contains a baby that can evolve into terrapagos so yeah. every single terra orb contains a a legendary pokemon so nimona's got one arvin's got one penny's got one it, everybody's got one you know so it, it automatically kills the specialness of it but wait so so, Dude, so that the, makes so much sense, actually. Yeah, and the little eyes are just this thing. Yeah, it's just this. It's yeah. it was never the big tropicos. It was just right. They all just live in the gems, and maybe like one special one can evolve. Like Lico's is probably gonna be the one, or it's like, or mine. It won't. It uh, won't mine evolve. Will evolve. It won't evolve. But no, then, mine like, will. Well, yeah. yours too, because I know. But I'm, I'm the main character I'm of my game, so <laughs> I'm not joking. Maybe it won't evolve because she's like, you know, like if you think of Ash terms, you know, like they'll like meet the bigger Terrapagos and it'll yeah. be like baby well, and, and it, mama. It even could like. be a thing of uh, like Diancie and Carbink, where it's not really evolution. It's just like one of these was a pressurized, like True. this Terrap this Diancie was a pressurized Carbink. But the other thing, and I think this is a huge point that I think nobody's touched on, and I, I think that's absolutely absurd. That further proves that this is a Diancie Carbink situation. Is look right now we have Scarlet and Violet is out and we do not have the DLC yet, but we know what mons are going to be available when home releases. Two of those mons are Diancie and Carbink, Dude. and Ooh. the thing that's wild about that is Diancie's not that weird. Mew's available, um, uh, Zarud's available. There's plenty of Mythicals available, but why did they go and make Carbink available too? Are you saying? And, are you saying we're gonna be able to access Kalos in post game? No, God. Okay, okay. That's no, what I thought no. you. Were, that's, I thought you were going with that for a second. <laughs> but Lumi, Lumi, I know you said nobody talked about it, but I literally tweeted this today, like exactly what you're saying. I mean, oh, really? you haven't seen it. Oh, I'm I know sorry, haven't. I haven't seen it. No, Lumi, I know you haven't. But bro, it's you just funny that we soul. that we thought about. Yeah, you gotta credit me. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. I um, steal from Soul Silver Art. <laughs> no, um, but like seriously. I agree with you 100%. Like, I was going to say it if you weren't. Like, it's literally, why is Carbink in the, the Scarlet mm -hmm. and Violet data the only non-legendary, non-mythical, non-Hisui Pokemon? Yeah. It's the only one. 
And, well, and people will be like, it's got the connection to Deontay. Okay, it's got a connection right. to Deontay, but it doesn't. they didn't have to put it in there just because exactly. of that. Exactly. <laughs> it's they, not an evolution. It has a connection to Deontay. Okay, well, Charizard's got a connection to Blastoise and um, uh, Venusaur. They're not in the game. Miltank's uh, Mil a... not in the game? Right. Cramorant's yeah. not in the game, but Aracuda is. Uh, oh. Shoot, we have Toad's Cool is in the game and Tinnacool isn't. I know. Yeah. That's, that's an so, issue. So why did they leave it in? I think maybe... If it's just like a cheeky hint, fine, that's fun. Um, but maybe it's like actually going to explain them as well, or like connect them, like Carbink and Diancie. They I are that's they exactly are also stones too, like gems. Mm -hmm. You know, gems. Yeah. Well, that's that's exactly what I think. I think like it might even be a thing of because uh, another thing too to compare this to Sword and Shield was Sword and Shield, uh, the Pokemon that were in that were like available through home before the DLC released. Uh one of them or four of them rather were the Swords of Justice and Keldeo. Well then when we got the Crown Tundra, there was a subplot involving the Swords of Justice that culminated with you being able to catch Keldeo. So what I am imagining is that there may be a thing where to understand the relationship between this Pokemon and Terrapagos we are like assigned to go catch a carbink and go research carbink and diancy and there might be a side quest oh, with them yeah. because you plot. you do something with them to further understand this you know mm -hmm. no that's really good that's really good but that's that's what i'm set on um i think i think that works just because one it explains why carbink's in home two it explains how you know this thing could be in everybody's terror orb but not everybody's terror orb contains a Terrapagos, totally mm -hmm. different mine, but is also still connected to Terrapagos. Yeah. And in a way, is kind of a pre-evolution to it, just not everyone. Right. Yeah. Um, at the same time, you got to, like, look at the other options, too. Like, those are the... That's the one I think it is. You can see right on my profile, that's the one I chose, Carbink and Deonsi. Um It's just a fun guess, but... Um, the other ones with the Zygarde cells, like they could all be little Terrapagoses, the little like gems that we have. That so the mm -hmm. the biggest thing that sticks out for me is the fact that it ha they have not given it an official name. Like I don't think a name yeah. really gives off that much. You can hide the type, right? You can hide. You can just show the silhouette, and not actually show it. But like, what is a name really gonna do? That's why the like, thing though. Like, like why would they hide it if it was like if it actually was big big Agos? Whatever. <laughs> right? Ba baby Bagos. I think it's I think it's if it was so... Terra Baby. If it was Terra Baby Terra well, Terra that, Bagos. What Terra Bagos. What, that's actually pretty good. Why would they why would they not like why would they hide that? There'd be no reason to hide well, that. Yeah, I th I think it's because like they want to keep the mystery of is this a Terrapagos form or is this a pre evolution? Yeah. Is this different mon or Terrapagos? And then also like like it's with the form. Zygarde cells, we know that it's a Zygarde cell. We know that's what it's called. So hypothetically, this could be called a Terrapagos cell. I don't. Yeah. I don't think it's that. It'd be like a Terra but, cell. You know, so it would give away what it is if they gave the name. They want us to not know. Is it a pre-evolution? Is it a new mon? Is it a form? Is it a cell? What is it? I mean, yeah. this is this feels too obvious. You got the you got the hexagon, and that is what is in the image of the Scarlet and Violet books, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Like, yeah. Uh, like I said in that tweet right there, I'm like. It really is a paradox Zyg Zygarde, if that's the case. Like, they literally did hexagons again, and now they're going to do the Zygarde cells again. I don't know. I don't know if right. I buy it. But maybe something similar, though. You know? Who knows? Maybe it's something close to that. I don't I don't really know. But people were making a case for it, and I was like, I could see this, actually. Like, after I did that tweet. You know, I'm like, hmm. Maybe it is some kind of collecting all of the little baby Terrapagos that would be, and they have done a lot of that in, uh, in recent Pokemon games where you have to collect things. Yeah, and it would be it would make sense for the DLC. There, there's a lot of points, but I think the biggest thing is that they left it so mysterious, and that just doesn't feel like a normal evolution. Because the most obvious thing would be for it to be just a pre-evolution. Yeah, like it's that that's the logical thing to assume. Like it's just a pre-evolution to. To Terrapagos, and that's it. But that would be. But boring. why would they hide it? Why would they yeah. hide that? The point to keep it mysterious is purely because they want it to be mysterious because it's a it's a legendary Pokemon that's going to be the focal point of a DLC. Yeah. So they want to keep it a mystery and everything and surrounding it. I think it it's is also. Like... Yeah. 
I was gonna say it is like the main plot of the DLC, like both DLCs really, and and specifically DLC two, which we don't even know when it's gonna come out. Like it could come out in freaking January of next year. They're going to keep this mystery that whole time. The placeholder <laughs> I mean, date is April 2024. I think it's yeah. also really interesting that like the, the show has just begun. The, what is it called? Pokemon Horizons? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It has just begun, and they've already laid out or tied a plot line to this Pokemon. That seems pretty definitive, right? Like, what are they going to do next season? Or, like, right. next generation? Now, right. I will say, I will say, you know, uh, Horizons came pretty late. Uh, it came... Um, in, uh, what month is it? It's April, whereas Scarlet and Violet released in November. How cool would this reveal have been if yeah. Horizons had come out, like, the week after Scarlet and Violet? Yeah, we'd be like, where's the Pokemon? Oh, man. How do we get this? What is this? And then they really like, yeah. reveal. That's another thing. It's, like, the fact that they're released, they're, they're revealing Pokemon in the anime, that's kind of right. cool. That, that, I think that's what a lot of people like about Miss. leaks, that they can show They miss that about the anime. Yeah, or like, or like news being revealed in like uh, the Coral Coral magazine. That was the coolest. Yes, thing I, I love that. <laughs> Just getting like staying up to two in the morning so yeah. you could see, you know, what the Coral Coral leaks were this month. If you're enjoying this show, just $5 helps us out so much. Right below this video, there's a join button. You can click it and become a channel member. And and more importantly, we have merch. Seriously, I'm about to like, when, when we're done recording this ad, I'm trying to speed up this ad so I can go and buy my own merch, <laughs> which is really lame. But also, like, it's super it's not. cool, and it's I need not it. lame. Cool. I'm gonna be it's wearing. It's amazing. I'm gonna be wearing a hat. I'm gonna be wearing a t-shirt. I'm gonna be wearing. I'm also gonna have a, a hoodie. I'm gonna have a hidden power hoodie. Um, oh, I'm gonna get that too then. Yeah, Soul's gonna get. Sure. I want a too. mug. I want to put my Snapple in a hidden power mug. Oh, just... I like that. I'm gonna be drinking no. coffee in a hidden power mug. That makes more sense. That makes yeah. more sense than Snapple. That's like, what is this plastic? In it's bad for the environment. Get a mug. Save there the you turtle. Go. There you go. <laughs> so, I'm, Silver I'm, Army, grab your merch. Yeah, you listen, your boy. listen to Lumi. Get get some of our stuff. It's really good stuff, guys. Your support will allow us to continue making Hidden Power videos for the rest of the year. Thank you guys so much. And now back to the video. Yeah, mo- yeah. Usually the core core leak was just like, stay tuned next week because there's a great right. interview that says that the following month will then have a piece of information. No, but like back in back in X and Y, kind of, but especially yeah. like in the X and uh, y, Gym dude. Five era. Yeah, in the Gym Five era, core core dropped stuff all the time. Dude, let me. Anyways, I'll. I'll post I remember seeing the Charon redesign uh, from Black Two and White Two, like the aged up Charon in the reveal. He was gym leader. That was cool. Dude, Core Core was so dope. I don't know. Soul, did you ever you ever keep up to date with that stuff? I, I didn't too much. I think the only thing I saw the was The leaks like, expert didn't keep up with Core Core leaks? Well, I've told you guys. Look like, at I this, got, Soul. Oh. I've always been a fan of Pokemon, but I, like, wasn't as into it in these eras. Right. Like, Gen 7, I came back, like, full force. Mm-hmm. So, oh, this stuff, this like, I remember. Back full force. Gen Gen six was really weird for me. Like I had no idea that it was like happening, and then I just like was like, dude, there's like a hundred new Pokemon, even though there wasn't a hundred. But I was just, like, <laughs> there's like four new Pokemon. Yeah, there's like a hundred new Pokemon. I need to see them. I remember the day, like just sitting on my computer and looking through the whole like it, it had been out a while. Like so, it was all of the art of the Gen six Pokemon, and I was like in love. Even though nowadays I'm like Gen six had the. the not my favorite designs. Dude, when, um, they, when they dropped the Megas, that was crazy. Look at this. This was the image that leaked. And then that, I remember staring at this being like, what? Th- these yeah, are not Pokemon. Your mind would be blown seeing that for sure. I remember exactly where I was. I was at a local baseball stadium in my town. Dude. Un- I, un- I was in bed. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Let's I was, I was like, I was 12 years old. <laughs> I was. That's yeah. insane. <laughs> But yes, yeah. Um, where where do we go from here? <laughs> Ampharos with hair. So well, I guess, so the other thing that people are talking about, I, and I don't see this here, but basically the idea is that Baby Pagos is gonna evolve into Ter Pagos, right? And then mm-hmm. it's gonna evolve into the 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 thing the Mega the, Pagos right here. Okay. Whatever this is, whatever we want to call That's this. That's Terrapagos. Uh, yes. So I think, and that'd be a three stage evolution that... or whatever yeah i don't know if i agree i think that terrapagos is going to have another form 
I don't know if it's going to evolve again. If it, or if it even evolves in the it first place. It feels complete. But, like you said, it's too perfect of a design. Well, to me, it doesn't feel to complete. To evolve. I, yeah, maybe to evolve. But, so the reason I'm saying that is because this picture right here, it is Terrapagos. There is nothing different yeah. other than the crown. The crown is the only thing, which could be a form, I guess. But, like, to it's me, literally it's got sim- the same fur. It's just a little more crazy looking. Yeah. But yeah. the eyes are actually the same when you zoom in. That It's the same thing, like, because Terrapagos has this circle around its eye. Yeah. Um, this picture just makes it look like the eye's coming out, but it isn't. Yeah. yeah it looked thing. more chameleon, less turtle here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, it more lizard-like. No, but I Because they didn't want to, yeah. they didn't want to, like, right. reveal it. So. Right. And to me, the crown, I mean, the crown literally could, the crown could literally be a physical crown when it, it's in a new form, but it could also be, it could also just be like that the fact that they're like drawing emphasis or like creating significance, highlighting right, significance. Like it being about, in space and it having yeah. a ship on its tail. Well, that's another thing. It's so big. This is very obviously inspired by the world turtle. Like it's the size of, it's like 25% of the world. Yeah. I'm getting some crazy ideas right now, actually, that I'm going to Just hold back. start talking. Just start because, talking. Because of Lumi. I don't want to reveal all my secrets either. But Just... I, I will say that this, the crown, right? I could see that totally being just like a bunch of spikes on its back for like a new form. Like that whole thing being a new form with like a, a crown of spikes coming off yeah. of it. I'll say um, my thing if you say your oh, thing. And this is right here, obviously. I... This is... This is this is what happens right as you uh, terrestrialize, right? So obviously, this is it's 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 undergoing some sort of form. I think it's it's very abstract art, but the it main is. thing is that the the orb that it's on top of, we now know what that is basically, and it's kind of its force field. It's area um, zero. Yeah. Oh, it's the no, force. Well, yeah, so it's the if, force if field. If you watch the, the episode, Pagos. yeah, the the baby makes almost the exact same force field, um, made out of hexagons. Oh, mm-hmm. that's it. Look at it's that. Inside of, it's inside of the same thing. So that's what it's doing. But so I'll just kind of say my thing, which is what is inside of that? And why is it covered black? It's covering something inside of there. If you two steal this before I post it, I don't know what I'm going to do. But <laughs> I would never saying, steal like... from you, Soul, intentionally. <laughs> no, but I mean, other people have said, like, what's in the orb, too. Um, yeah. But, like, honestly... I it's weird that it's all blacked out there. I think um, though no, but this I mean this is obviously the force field, right? And mm-hmm. this could be dark. This could just be dark because it's like there's only light going this way or maybe it's creating the light. But, but this the thing is, is but this right here I think is just the shell. I think this is just its body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to think about the lore as well with this though. So like it makes the force field when it feels um like threatened or it's protecting something. It's it is Oh, so Almost threatened. definitely the paradox or the paradise protection protocol. So like it's protecting something, and then we have the hidden treasure of Area Zero, which there's a treasure that it's protecting. Does that make sense? Like there's something yeah. going on here. There's also the guardian of Area Zero. What's the guardian of Area Zero? That's in Heath's book. Um, so I I think that that's what's going on. I basically said my thing. You don't have to say yours though. Literally. Okay. Um, I I have a different. I just tweeted theory. that about it i think i might <laughs> i think i might uh i think i might make a video on my idea it's it's different from that uh but i'm still gonna credit you because i did not notice the hexagonal plates there of course like yeah. that it's the force field mm-hmm. but wow i i'm i'm like i'm trying to have this conversation with you all but then i'm also like my brain is like sh- rapid fire shooting just shoot it right now this is a space <laughs> to brainstorm it is. Not it is a space, and, and it's working. I'm brainstorming. No, no one's, no one's <laughs> going to watch this, enjoy there what is, you're saying, and then not watch your other videos. They're going to say, oh, I want okay. more of that. Okay, I will I will give you the gist of it. I highly recommend you check out the full uh, video because there's a lot more points than this. But the gist of my thing is that um, uh, I don't think that the baby's going to be in the Indigo Disc. It's going to be in the Teal Mask. Wow. Mm. Think oh. about it. Go to the official site. They do not say it will appear in the Indigo Disc. They say the Hidden Treasures of Area Zero DLC. Yeah, Hidden Treasure true. of Area Zero. Yeah, that's true. Um, and every other Pokemon, they've clarified. Hey, Monkey Dory, Pheasant Dippity, 
Um, Okie Dokie, Ogre Pond, they are Teal Mask. Um, Terrapagos, that's Indigo Disc. This thing, they will not specify which one it is. And I think that's because a bombshell moment and Teal Mask is going to be that thing coming out of our Terror Orb. Interesting, yeah. That's really cool. And then like that would uh, also make sense to there'd why there'd be a through line to the story, right? Like, and then that would yeah. be like that would be the treasure that's involved with. Well, and or, that's, or it's that's, like that's what the the guardians are protecting. Well, it's the treasure well, of Area guardian. Zero. It's yeah. the treasure of Area Zero. It our Terra orbs are sourced from Area Zero. It is mm-hmm. the treasure of Area Zero. Yeah, yeah. And what's the treasure hidden the, and the jewel? And if you think about it, like the the trope when it comes to someone who needs to be protected, right, princess. Uh, prince right someone who like can't defend themselves but has some sort of innate power uh this mm-hmm. thing is obviously helpless and it needs to be protected so that is um that's a whole nother thing that goes uh with the story of umashiro taro yeah like this whole thing also that's part of the theory i was talking about before which is this is the baby turtle in the story and it becomes bigger which becomes terapagos which is bigger um but then they go to a sea king's palace and like that thing literally has a crown on it okay so sea king so, paradox can yeah yeah sea king um no but like it's it's a like a sea lord like the god of the sea let's say okay that's sea king i know i'm just saying. so no no i'm saying it's sea king. but so there's a crown on the back of terapago so i think that it has something to do with that as well um there's like different stages of that I had um oh. on because I've already done like a very brief video, you know, touching on this. But um, I had uh on my uh, YouTube channel, my personal one, not this uh, not this podcast. But um, Young Reckless said, "Hey Lumios, this is probably the Turtle Princess from the Urashima story, not Terrapagos, like previously thought. The story goes that he saves a small turtle from a bunch of children. Now I, I should clarify." Uh, Urashima Taro, since it's like such an old story, there's like multiple variations of it. But one variation of this is that um, uh, he saves a small turtle from a bunch of children, and then a huge turtle appears at a later point to tell him that the true identity of the small turtle is the daughter of the Emperor. Wow. So, in some variations of the story, the big turtle is not the same as the small turtle. The small right. turtle is actually the princess. Right. So there's, get- yeah. There's there's different versions. Yeah. So oh, interesting. So um, that, but it could hypothetically that, be the princess. If mm-hmm. that's the case, that I mean, I, I feel like that's more of a cosmog situation, where it's just a plain evolution. Yeah. It, I, it really could be. Like I'm still could, not. I'm not counting that out. Just because Ku was cheeky about it doesn't mean he he could be playing a game with us and being like, it's just the obvious one. Just always is, blame it on the AI. Did we already right. discuss how this looks like? Uh, uh, Ogre Pond's mask. Well, that's oh. just because it's a terrestrial mask. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But like, but yeah. that's obviously doesn't show up anywhere else when we see. Uh, Dude, the that's true. Dude, this is this, this yeah, is, is literally dark. what. But he, he like that it gem on the top of his mask is could be like its tail cut off yeah. and put on its mask. Like a slowpoke tail. It like, could be. Yeah. You know, puts yeah. it right right there. I mean, it could like um, fall off. It doesn't have to be cut off, but yeah. It, it is the uh, same shape. No, that makes sense. Like the crown, it's all. I, I feel like I, I get a lot of imagery when I think of Ogre Pond. I'm thinking of like kind of like a dirty, like a dark. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's dark type maybe. So it's like a, it's like a dirty fighter. It fights, it fights a little unfair, and it, it'll like take the scraps of whatever special uh, items it can get a hold of. Like it's not getting the crown. It's not getting like the the holy sword. It's just getting like, you know, it's like a foot, a tail. It just feels like leftovers. <laughs> like a foot. Right? It's it's um its mask is covered in these crystals too. So yeah, is it covered in baby terapagoses? We don't know. Um, I I mean that is like all just speculation on Ogre Pond because yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I don't think it's a dark type. I cannot see it being a dark grass. But yeah, we'll we'll see for the four billionth time. Yeah, there's that, no yeah. way. But anyways. It doesn't um, need to be think, dark type. I just it, it looks right. It looks, it looks like a yeah. renegade. Yeah, mischievous, a, th- a uh, thief. Mm-hmm. Some other conversations pertaining to this, but not necessarily um, about uh, baby ghosts here that uh, we could talk about is um, so. First off, when are we thinking Scarlet and Violet news? 
mm, are we two, feeling like three months? Yeah, <laughs> I think I was. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's so we're still summertime. thinking months. I, I'm thinking months now too because I feel like this is our news. Yeah, we could get know. some other like guys. Think of it like this: so Scarlet and Violet has sold so well, and what was their plan? What was their marketing plan with that? Crap. Get, give us nothing. <laughs> that was the mo. I think we're going to be looking at something very similar, especially because but they this have game... to give us more. We've right, talked about DLC. It. You have to give more because, mm, yeah. and they are technically because you're not right convincing now. me to buy Scarlet and Violet. You're convincing me you played Scarlet and Violet. Yeah, you want more of it. You're having to convince me I want more of this. And yeah. given that most people are, or not most people, that's not fair at all. A lot of people are seeing the game as a buggy mess. Sure, they need convincing. Yeah. yeah. Um, this goes into a lot of different side things. I, I was tweeting before this was revealed that, like, oh, it'd be cool if they'd, like, revealed a new legendary just to, like, keep us going along, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, which is exactly what they did, which is, I think it's good. I think it's cool that they, that they did this. Because up until now, I was like, we're not getting news until June anyway. So at least we got, like, a little something. Um, right. I still think that we're still waiting until june to get news but it does uh like it does bring up a question of like will we get news sooner now because the last tangent here is what's going to happen with Lico and the um the the anime like is i think that baby tropagos here is going to be like a regular like he's going to pop in every now and then i don't think yeah. it's going to be like we just saw it once even though i did think oh, that yeah, at first absolutely not. at first i thought like that was the only time we're going to see it but is now she still I'm like, wearing the necklace. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah, now that it's her. been revealed, it's yeah. Now that it's been revealed, I think it's gonna come out all the time, like slowly yeah. but surely. And then it's just gonna be like a part of her team, kind of. And then eventually we'll get to the mystery of what the heck it is. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. So so the whole plot of it is uh, she actually keeps the pendant in a box. She does not wear it. Uh, I think she's going to now to keep it closer because the thing is the villains are after it. Sure. Um, but uh, it's like the ring. But yeah, I imagine it'll be like a thing of like, like ten, twenty more episodes, and it'll come out again to save her, and we'll get a little bit better of a look at it, and then like see it move around a little bit more. Because this was literally all that happened was like you were seeing from Liko's perspective. She was like doing like this because the psycho cut was about to hit her, and then she looks up and it's in front of her, and it just goes back into its shell, and that's all the scene was. Uh, but um. I would Lumi, say I imagine it'll do more and more. I mean, like Lumi, ten episodes. Yeah, ten episodes. I yeah, I'm I'm thinking. Well, yeah, yeah, because they'll want to do more with it, like around the time the DLC comes out. So ten episodes would be ten weeks. So I'd say mm -hmm. that's that's uh pretty. Um, Maybe like logical. she'll be like trying to get it to come out to like you know, hitting it or something. Well, like, I could see that being a thing. Like why you know the out? episode ended on a cliffhanger where like uh her sprigatito was taken so obviously they'll go directly into that but i think once things calm down she'll probably have a conversation with freed about it and be like you know hey something Maybe. happened what happened Maybe. oh this turtle came out and then she, she's kind of shy it. and not not really like keeps it all in her head she is you know? but so. i think she'll trust him a little bit more since he's helping her like break into their base to rescue sprigatito mm-hmm do you, um, guys... and, you know, she's clearly going to, like, join their team, I guess. You know, Are you guys you enjoying the this. anime? Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. I haven't watched it yet. Oh, yeah, it... I, I'm watching it. I love it. It's you have to send me a link. so different so far, and that's a good thing. Like, it is character it feel like development. A oh, yeah. Yes. That's good. There's you know... things happening. <laughs> Instead of just, like, I'm going to be a Pokemon master, and that's, that's it. cool. Yeah, it's it honestly, ugh, there's so many good points about it. Um, so first off, the character's completely different from Ash, which is just great from a writing perspective because we don't need a second Ash because then everybody's going to go, I liked it better when Ash did this. I don't like that Liko does this. Ash did yeah. it better. You know, it's it's better to have a completely different character. Who's um, Ray Skywalker? But, Apparently right. no League Skywalker. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but um, then uh, <laughs> they, um, another thing that's really good about it is like the first episode, um, felt like a slice of life with pokemon really like i like that first episode oh, was, like, was the them one. just interacting with pokemon and like the people on uh freed's ship 
use the Pokemon in, like, ways you would in real life. Like, Slugma and Carcoal help power the ship, and, you know, they'll use Charizard's flames on the, like, you know, little furnace to make the ship go faster and stuff. Uh, Pikachu pilots the ship, which is just amazing. Um, That's really cool. Yeah. I'll check but, it out uh, after Pikachu. this. I'll check it out but tonight. I do, th I do think... Uh, Another thing that's interesting, I don't know if uh, y'all knew this, I think it was Moot on uh, Twitter, mm -hmm. who, uh, you Shout know, big out. anime guy. Um, I think it was him who posted this. Um, him or her, excuse me, I, I, I don't know uh, what, what gender they are. But um, he, they had said that uh, the, the anime now airs after the time that Spy X Family airs. Which basically means that they're actually targeting, like, a young teen audience. Interesting. And I apologize if that wasn't Moot who said that. I I feel like it was, but I don't remember. Yeah, it does. It doesn't feel like it's geared towards, like, five-year-olds, that's for sure. Like, you know, like, even ten-year-olds. It's more of a mature idea, let's say. Even though it's I, still, like, you know, kid-like. But Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it definitely feels more like uh, one thing I noticed that, like, I point out as uh, Sarah and I were watching it, was the first episode, like, lets you exposition. Like, it, it's it's taking its time. It's pretty slow. You know, you're seeing Liko, like, walk around the school and meeting people and kind of sitting around it. and talking about her stuff, which is not something you do in, like, your traditional kids' show. You know, you have to get their attention, you know. But, you know, you gotta, yeah, something's yeah, yeah. gotta be going on. But it, like I said, it felt, the first... The first, like, half of the episode, maybe even longer than that, was a very, like, slice of life. Dude, I'm mm -hmm. excited to watch this. I'll definitely check it out. Lumi, I think um, I think one of your theories that I saw was you had suggested that um, Baby Pagos is going to kind of function in the necklace that, it, that it's within. It's going to kind of func function like the GS ball from the Johto uh, anime. Yeah, yeah, I said, I said that uh, I was comparing the Terra Orb to that. I think that, you know, it... I do think the little gem again. I know there's some people who disagree with us. Uh, that's fine. You know we're all entitled to our opinions. But I am in the camp of the gem and the Terra Orb yeah. is a baby Pegos. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, another I, thing. I want to go back and play uh, my copy of Scarlet and Violet and see and like do a bunch of terror battles and see if I can like pick yeah. up on anything. Yeah. Well, the biggest thing with that, I I mentioned it a long time ago, is that when you terastalize. The ball, your Pokemon's already on the field. You take yeah. the ball and you're literally throwing out the gem. Like that's what so you're, you're throwing, throwing out. You're throwing out the Pokemon. You're right. throwing out baby Pegos well, into, wow. into It's almost like a fusion. It and kind of is. It goes that. onto your guy's little head and changes them and crystallizes the whole thing. Which Dude, that that um That explains why it's a why it's like a crown, why it's like a man made object. It's almost like interpreting yeah. right like the the explanation for him says that it has the, this energy in it that crystallizes things, like literally. That's the crystallization. Yeah, that's what it does. <laughs> now so that is... that makes so much sense. Yeah, you throw you're basically throwing out a Pokemon, and it, it's like an equip Pokemon. It mm -hmm. it's like, almost like on a fusion. Uh, the, the it's kind of like armored evolution. <laughs> exactly right. No the the barrier is basically just like goes flush with the Pokemon's body to give it that crystalline look. It gives it a new type. Um, mm -hmm. which probably means when this Pokemon evolves or when it type, dude, what it probably is, is whenever this, if it form changes, it just form changes into base form Terrapagos, Ter Terrapagos, whatever. And we see uh, Terrapagos on its shell that has all the different types, but what it's probably going to be is it only has one type. It probably only has one type at a time. So when you send yeah. it out, that's what it is, dude. That, I think that makes total sense. I, um... I touched on it a little bit yesterday, uh, in, or yesterday for us, in the video that I recorded that you were, had mentioned, Dusty. But, like, it uh, it also, the Terra Orb containing, like, the, the Pokemon or whatever, and you, you know, like you said, so throwing it out to uh, possess the Pokemon, yeah. basically, um, or to power it up, however you want to see it. Uh, there was a couple things that I think, like, really back that up. Uh, for one... This is the first gimmick device we've had. You know, we've had four gimmicks now. We've had Mega Evolution, Z Rings, or Z Moves rather, uh, Dynamax, and now Terrestrialization. This is the first one that looks like a Pokeball. All the yeah. others were something you wore on your wrist. This one looks like a Pokeball. Well, you kind of wear. I guess 
I wonder, like, because it's not just the Pokeball. It could be, like, maybe the crystal, which is around her neck, is also in the Pokeball, which is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. If you look that, at the, it's the, the same Terra crystal. Orb. Yeah, the Terra Orb yeah. has the little crystal. In yeah. It. yeah. It almost, like, goes... I should find that, yeah. Like, the, the um, concept art. I'm sorry. It's just... I'm thinking. No, yeah. you're good. You're good. Uh, but then the other thing, too, is remember what the Terra... Or how the Terra Orb was created. Terra Orbs were created by Sada and Toro, who were in Area Zero. So they very likely found these jewels and harnessed it by putting it in a ball because they figured out it was a Pokemon that allowed you to harness its power. And that's the thing, too, is, like... Sada and Toro were evil. They did bad things. They wanted to unleash Paradox Pokemon on the world, knowing that it could devastate the ecosystems. So yeah, they're the kind of people who go, oh, we want to harness something? Well, then we're going to trap these things in balls, you know? Yeah. Wow. They left their son. They abandoned him. Right, exactly. I mean, they're they're not good people. <laughs> I think people, people get confused. I even said this in the video. People get confused and think, because the AI was good, they wanted you to stop them. And they kind of get confused and think Sada and Toro were good. Sada and Toro, they may have loved Darwin in the end, it says, but it, they were bad people. Yeah. They were horrible, horrible people. Wait, Dusty, go back to that for a second. Not to get off of your Sada and Toro rant, but... Yeah, no, um, it's fine. We should. There, yeah. There is one other little detail about this ball that's interesting. It has a ring around it, and if you look at the baby Terrapagos, it's got rings all around it so yeah, that's true too the, yeah the, ring, the blue ring it's the same kind i of think thing about it, that it lights up so it's got these rings one two mm -hmm. three four five and then I think. it's got a five because the other light. swirling oh yeah the rings down here mm -hmm. yep well oh, yeah. and on oh, the oh, ball yeah. itself you're right yeah, yeah. yep Shell. so it is very interesting yeah maybe the, yeah it's it's trapagos it's connected to this no doubt yeah that, now, that would make sense say, if it is they, they just showed it to us. It's not even a quite. It's not even a mystery. Right. It's just like this. Th it just is. It is this. Yeah. And Terrapagos is an evolution, or it's terraform. So that that's another thing. I know you're about to say something, Lumi. Hold the thought. But no, you're good. Yeah, keep going. Like just if it is a form. Like I know I, the way that they worded it makes it me feel like it's not a form at all. But it, it's still possible because they do it all the time where they say oh it's a new pokemon but it's actually just a form or something mm -hmm. if it is a form spoilers we know that there are terraforms coming in the dlc in dlc one specifically i think um mm. seems so, like it because the masks yeah so this could be like that's the the normal form of Terrapagos, this baby one, and it whenever it uses its terraform, it changes into the big Terrapagos that we see. That is an option. I, I don't I don't think it's that likely now, but it's still an option. I don't know. Um, yeah, no, I I think that is an option, and I mean, like you said, I'm pretty sure when they, uh, people can correct me on this, but um, I'm pretty sure when they were revealed the uh. Galarian birds, even though they said this is Galarian Articuno, Galarian Zapdos, Galarian Moltres, pretty sure they said new Pokemon have been discovered or something yeah. like that. Like they, because that was like a whole thing. People exactly. now that convergence are a thing, people mm -hmm. went back to that and were like, oh, are the Galarian birds convergence? You know, so right. I mean, it's it is tricky. And Koo did yeah. put it in that that poll, right? Um, yeah. I, I still think the Zygarde thing still has holds water too. Like I don't know how to explain it, but basically, if you go back to like that, it's like force field. Those could all be little baby Terrapagoses. Like they're all hexagons. Sure. Um, they all get together and form one big Terrapagos. Yeah, like a wishy washy kind of thing, maybe. Yeah, sure. So there, yeah. there's a lot of ideas that could be. You know, but again, that's why they didn't reveal its name. They want us to do this and yeah, speculate. which is fun though too. It is fun. Oh speculate. yeah, absolutely. It's I mean we have more to talk. I mean as content creators, right? This is yeah. a lot better than if they had just said, "Here is this yeah. thing, and it is the pre-evolved form of Terrapagos." Because we would this, we'd be done. We would <laughs> be done with we, this video. We wouldn't even this, be talking anymore. <laughs> right. This video would have literally been, you know, here is, it's a pre-evolution of this. What are your thoughts about it? Oh, I like it. Oh, I don't. Oh, I like it. Okay, bye. You know, I it mean, is kind of just for us. I'm sad. There is one downside to it, which is it didn't hype 
enough people up, I think. Like I wasn't even looking. excited. I'm I'm having a good time yeah. right now, but I've been busy. I'm like okay, yeah. it's an ugly Tarapagos. So there's That's a lot of people like me. just just looking at, you know, the the feedback, let's say, of things that I post and things that people post on YouTube, you know, it's like okay, cool. There's a new Pokémon fun that's it for me i get super excited when i see a new pokemon no matter what it is and it lasts for days but then i'm Mm -hmm. I'm just like it kind of is depressing to see everyone else be like whatever it's just it lasts for days (laughs) because because a new pokemon is gonna last a lifetime right yeah that's true people people need to realize the implications of this pokemon though you know not yeah no it's not just the pokemon but the implications that we could be looking at another diancy carving situation another zygarde situation it's huge Guys, it even this, even this, look at right, right. Okay, this is air, hidden, hidden treasure of Area Zero. You got all the little hexagons. This is mm-hmm. a hexagon. Even the stars on its body, right? The stars on its body, its tail, they're all throughout. You got one. Two, you could three, argue four. that snowflake shape too is Terrapagos. Like it's yeah. a head, two yeah, legs, yeah. two legs in the back, and a tail. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. I think it, without a doubt, we we should analyze these things right here. Have we done that yet? One, no, we no. have three. We, four. Kayla, we did the coup thing on it. Let's get <laughs> Kayla. Yeah. Let's get Kayla. Who would on. Use. She could help. Kayla us with that. definitely yeah. has a huge theory on it. I I was gonna post my ideas first, but I I'll, I'll I her stuff idea. is definitely interesting. Um, I I was just looking at it actually, and the so somebody else I forget on Twitter mentioned this to me. And it is very interesting. The shape in the background is not the normal shape of like Terrapagos's shell. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like the hexagons. You know, like it's it's making like a star kind of thing. Sure. Um, so it could be like the third form of Terrapagos. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like that kind of star looking thing. I think something to end on uh, that we we should talk about is it's it's a little minor, but they've really highlighted how big of a problem this is. So. Gist of this is the Japanese version of the anime is ahead. Oh and yeah. Pokemon Horizons <laughs> like airs this. on Friday in Japan, not in America. America isn't even done with the Masters 8. Um and they reveal a new Pokemon. A few days later, the English accounts, the European account, uh the um English, like the American account, I mean, uh, they all post images from the anime and say oh this mysterious pendant is a pokemon it, what will come they need to simulcast subs 100 percent, yeah on it is you want me to not pirate your show but you want me to have to see these spoilers that not even people i can avoid people on uh twitter or whatever if i don't want to see spoilers but the official Pokemon company is spoiling their own show. The English dude, accounts are spoiling it. And I'm supposed to wait six more months to watch it? No. Yeah, dude, I remember when the day Ash, you know, the day Ash won Masters 8 or whatever it's called, but he became I... a world champion, right? It was all over the place. I wake up, I go into our, like, private Discord, and then Hybrid hops in and goes, wow, man, you spoiled it for me. And I'm thinking, bro, it's literally on every single. I mean, he didn't re- he he didn't realize, but like it's on. It was right. on everything. I didn't even. I don't even watch the anime, and I knew the, before yeah, someone who does watch it. Company, like of the uh like the U S. Pokemon Twitter had posted yeah. like a little image of him holding the trophy with his team around him and said, "Ash Ketchum is now officially the Pokemon World Champion." Dude, they gotta do simulcast subs. Like I, I have. It's funny because you said this in our last episode, Lumi. I don't know when that's going to go up, but like that you two will agree on something and then one of us will disagree. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. disagree. I really, I'm probably the only soul on the earth that is like, it's not a big deal. Like it, it really isn't because it's, it comes down to like people feeling like they're doing something wrong for pirating it. But basically Pokemon is telling you, it's okay that you're pirating our stuff, or they're just like, we don't care, you know. Like but they, that's the thing; they're not. They do I mean, care. they're they're you like saw, uh, they're, Poke Raff They want and, you to um, pay money. They want you to and, pay uh, money. And Pokey Furlax, um, people are They getting... all literally got like Show Pro went after them. They didn't even break any rules, but just because they had like 
They use images. It's all within fair use. Well, and that's, Show that's Pro gunned story. them down. I mean, Pokey yeah. but, but if they're gonna, two if copyright they're gonna, strikes. If they're going to spend that much those t that time and resources attacking creators, right? Exactly. Promoting that, their product, then, I mean, they should also try to, like... It is a separate issue, yeah. but it feels like, you don't know, their their attention is going to the wrong That's place. totally they separate. They shut down the people that's, who put... That's not what I'm talking about. The, they shut down the people who put the English subs on YouTube. They will strike their channels. Yeah, and, I get it. I get again, it. you can't... It, that's the thing. They're sending a mixed message. They're going, whoa, whoa, whoa. They, they're posting is. our stuff. Stop, stop, stop. Don't post our stuff. But then they won't post it themselves. Yeah. So they, they are sending the message to their fans. You need to wait. But then they're literally spoiling it. Yeah, it's 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 a little... And, and, and I feel like also what's great... I still remember the day when when we found out that uh, X and Y was going to be a worldwide release. That was so yes. great, right? Because all of a sudden, the yes. entire world can celebrate a new Pokemon Together. game at the same time, right? That whole experience, right? Mm -hmm. yep. And we're still seeing a glimpse of what it used to be like w within the exactly. anime, right? So I'm not yeah. like I'm I'm not I don't lose any sleep over it. I don't watch the anime like that, so I don't really care. But I do see how it can be pretty frustrating for people who keep up with it. Yeah. Imagine they I come don't... up with a new Star Wars movie or if, like, the new Mandalorian, like, the, the fi season finale of Mandalorian is coming out this week. Uh, what if I had to wait four months before watching it with English right. subs? Like, that'd be ridiculous. Yeah, I don't, I don't I mind. Like... Go ahead, Sol. Sorry. And they have well, the resources. I, mean, I have to say a lot, really, because <laughs> I just threw out, like, a very <laughs> controversial thing. But, like... <laughs> I understand everything that you guys are saying, and I I'm not talking about them going after the creators. That's messed up and crazy, but it makes sense because it's pirated. But I am not saying that it shouldn't happen. Like it would be amazing if they did the like did the dub even at the same time. Even though I don't I don't watch dubs. I don't dub think sucks though. Yeah, <laughs> nobody should dub watch drop. Them. Once it left four kids and they recast, yeah, and then I don't, it, it dropped further in Unova, then further in Sun and Moon. If you're complaining about the dub, I don't even get it. <laughs> but but that's a whole other topic. I don't think you should be. But to each their own. Um, it, the subs thing would be amazing if they did official subs. It's really not that hard. Um, but they want you to pay money. They want you... Nobody... You don't go onto your TV and get to watch whatever sports team you want. You have to right. pay for... You have to pay for a, like a completely individual. But there are people service. who would do I don't, it if that's I don't not mind available. Paying. No one I do can not buy mind it. paying. Right. I, I right. would pay as long as uh, I pay uh, for like, all my stuff. Um, my wife wow. is a big fan of uh the show Ruby, and it's kind of gotten me on it. I'm not sure if y'all have seen that. It's like a web series or whatever. Uh, the company that makes it, it's a company called Rooster Teeth, and they made a deal for this season of Ruby, and I I imagine onwards. They partnered with Crunchyroll. So Crunchyroll oh, uh, now gets the distribution rights to Ruby. I believe you can still watch the episodes just a little bit later um, on, like, Rooster Teeth's website or something. I'm not sure. But I know my wife's a big fan of the show, so she was like, hey, you know, I'm going to buy a Crunchyroll membership because yeah, that's how that's I, what they have to do. I would have no problem buying it to see it early because I don't want right. to be spoiled. But because but, there's no way to do but that, they don't give me the option. It. They say well, they you, want their not, money, but they want stuff. me to wait for four five six months to see it that's that's what's absurd yeah right it's silly. so i and the sports illustrator is gonna spoil that ash wins yeah right. well see things ash like is the cover two, fox like, news covered it i know it's, <laughs> it's so yeah that's what i'm saying though like these two specific things i get i think the ash ketchum one is way bigger actually like oh, i would have been it is bigger yeah. i don't nobody was though, because years. there hasn't been I've seen literally every person that watches the anime that is not Japanese is like, they spoiled this. And they never said that about Ash Ketchum. It was just like kind of more of a celebration. A few people obviously said something. But mm -hmm. it, this is way bigger backlash, let's say. And maybe something will get done. But these are two specific situations. I don't think that spoiling Baby Terrapagos is spoiling the whole episode. Like, there's so much more in that. And they did not just be like, you know, this is exactly what happens. All they showed was the Pokemon, and now they've revealed the Pokemon, which is actually revealing a part of their game. So it's yeah, kind of... No, but there's so much. Around the pendant. No, so for, they're revealing for me, a, a little major bit. plot aspect. Guys, a it bit. the incentive is not to... The incentive is not to, like, leave the surprise, right? You want to... It's totally fine to spoil that Ash Ketchum wins, right? But then what What the response should be, what, the, what they should expect, is then people go, great, 
let me go watch that. And if there's no way to watch that, then they're just leaving money on the table, right? Yeah, and they're yeah. excluding part of their fan base. It has nothing to do with sports. I mean, I agree. Just, <laughs> I agree with that. For right? Sure. It's like you and I, I mean, we, we spend all this time looking at leaks. There's no problem with, I mean, for us, we don't care because we're still going to buy the product at the end of the day, right? Right. Yeah. In fact, it, it makes us enjoy the product more. You exactly. Know, that, so, yeah, like, I mean, but, but, anyways, which is baby pay goes. Okay. Just one more thing. Sorry. Gonna, we want to celebrate the birth. This no, the birth we will of, celebrate the birth. This is the birth of, of baby the delivery. <laughs> the I delivery. just want to say the last thing is aside from that, um, like these two specific like spoiler moments of the anime, it's really not that hard. I've never had trouble like waiting two days, most of the time just one day, for some fan to make subs of it and finding the episode on there and watching it with subs. Like I don't have to I mean I maybe I'm not just like hardcore like fan that needs to watch it the second it comes out like that's just not me but yeah you know so that, that i might agree be i agree i, I, I would day. be the same way and you can yeah, watch but free. I would, but <laughs> yes exactly but it's free but like if the pokemon i guess we're, the, the reason why these two things are connected if the pokemon company is going to be is going to crack down on so many creators who love their product right who right. are supporting I'm, and promoting like their side. product I but I feel like it's related. If they're going to spend so much time and yeah. effort attacking those people, then they should also recognize. Okay, well, you're leaving these people in the dust, right? You have I this huge agree. fan base who isn't able mm-hmm. to access your thing day one or day two, right? Even if they released it day two, I think that would I, still I agree be good. for creators. But if you're just like an average person just trying to watch the show, like you right? Can just but we're not average day. people. You, I know. I'm, no, talking, I'm talking about an average person though. They just wait a day. But you that, can wait and watch the show a day later. Yeah, and, and stay off the internet for a day. You don't have to see all the spoilers right. or follow but the people no. that cover the spoilers. You know, like for, but for, the official Pokemon yeah, account is going to cover it, the spoilers. They should make That's it the stay issue. away from it. It's not even the spoilers. <laughs> it's literally like people should be able to access it in an official way, right? Because I I don't care. I don't care if I have to watch. If I have to, you know, watch a, an, an unofficial fan uh, dub, right? I, that I don't mind. But they mm-hmm. should. The creators of Pokemon should mind because they should money mind. on the they table. They should mind. That's what it comes down to. It's like people are firing like, their stuff. But exactly, they don't if you don't want that, then make it available. Well, the thing is, yeah. they just do like care. they should make, just like they should make old Pokemon games available on the Switch. That's oh, just God. like they should like a great way to more, end it. <laughs> Just just like they should do more promotion for their games so that we are not leaking the whole yes. game. Yeah, like, yeah, it's exactly. the same exact concept but they don't want just... another caca on their hands this that's this, why this episode is liberating I... we're gonna get we're gonna get removed from youtube this i mean is, but that's, it, that's too much coming after us for this episode speaking too much truth <laughs> that's why i feel this way though because i literally like am all about pokemon leaks so this is just more pokemon <laughs> leaks like this is all that this is um, yeah right. but yeah i mean the the birth it happened. The birth of Baby Pegos has happened. We're going to keep an eye out. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, like, buy our merch. Check it out. Team Dusty. This thing is glowing right now. Team uh, coming. Leave our review on Spotify, Apple Music. We're trying to get to 50 reviews. Uh, love you guys so much. We'll see you soon. Peace. Bye. Bye. Peace.